Hey guys, hi. So this is the last lecture of probability, and we will discuss random walk here. So this is just a outline of random walk to solve the questions of probability. We are not going to the entire theory. All right. So firstly, we will see there are two types of random walk. The first is symmetric. The second is asymmetric. We already know what symmetric and asymmetric means. But when we are talking this symmetric and random walk and asymmetric random walk, so for that, if you take a line. Okay, if any random walker starts from the origin O, suppose okay, if he is taking okay, if the probability of taking steps towards the right, this is the right, this is the left. Okay, generally these questions are solved as we are taking in the number line. Okay, so left is what negative, right is positive. Okay, so if the probability for any random walker to take steps in the right, it is equals to the probability. Of taking steps on the left. Okay, that means on the right the probability is taken p. For the left it's taken q. If p is equals to q, then that is symmetric random walk. And if it's not equal, then it is asymmetric. Clear? Now we will see firstly for one-dimensional random walk. So here you see capital N. It denotes the steps of equal length along a line. Okay. Now you see small p. This is small p it is the probability of taking a step on right. Small q probability of taking step on left. N one it is the number of steps taken on right, and N two is the number of steps taken on left. So here you see these are N P Q N one N two. These rep represents these things given. So you see this capital N. It is the sum of what number of steps taken on the right and the number of steps taken on left. Okay, and we know probability P plus Q it will be equals to one. Clear. Now, if you are asked to find the probability for any random walker who is taking n one steps right and n two steps on left, how you will calculate? So for that, you will use this probability formula, which is the same as binomial distribution as we have done, but it is not exactly same. Okay, there is a difference. Okay, somewhat similar but not equal. So this you can calculate as n combination n one p to the power n one q to the power n two. So this is n. It is a steps of equal length along a line. Combination n one, it is the number of steps taken on right, and this probability of taking a step right, it is to the power one. Number of steps taken on right, small q. Probability of taking a step left, it is to the power of what? Number of steps steps taken left. So the formula is easy. You will have to remember this, clear, and then you can eventually solve problems. First, we will start with the question number one. Okay. So these are not very tough. The only thing you will have to keep in your mind. You have to see the questions and see the parameters. So here it is said a one-dimensional random walker takes steps to left or right with equal probability. Okay, a random walker is there. He is taking steps left or right, but he is taking it equal probability. So it is he already given p is equals to q. So this is what symmetric random walk. Now you see the probability that the random walker starting from origin is back to origin after capital N even number of steps. Is what so you will have to calculate the probability that the random walker will start from the origin and he will be returning back to the origin after capital N even number of steps. Okay, it's very simple. You take this line. Okay, this is the origin. Clear. This is the initial position. So if he is starting from the origin, okay, he will take equal steps on both left and right. This is given. Probability is equal. So you will have to just calculate that after how many means the probability that the random worker will come back means if he is starting from this point, if either it's going this side or this side, it will come back to this position. Okay, for that you need to calculate the probability and after how many steps it is coming back to the origin after capital N even steps. Clear? So this we will do directly. First we will write all the parameters given to us. All right. So first, you see in this case here, capital N. Okay, the number of steps, steps of equal length along the line, capital N. Here it is equals to what? That we will write first. It is the same capital N. It is the number of steps. Okay, of equal length along. A line, clear. Second, small p. Small p is the probability, right? Okay, so here 
probability capital p small p probability of what steps taken on right to probability of steps taken on left it is equal okay so that means it will be 1 by 2 only okay that means what from here if it is starting if it is moving to this side or this side the probability will be what half only na so this is the reason it is 1 by 2 and n1 and n2 number of steps will be also what half it is even so number of steps that it will take on the either side it will be also one half one question i will do for number of steps directly given for four steps that will make you understand better for this n steps i am not doing that okay directly we will see because we are dealing with symmetric random box so directly you can write n1 equals to n2 it is equals to capital n by 2 okay that means if it is taking two steps on the left then it will take two steps on the right also that is the number of steps will be equal either it's left or it's right okay now you see directly you will use the probability formula it is n combination n1 small p to the power n1 capital q to the power n2 this is what the formula is now you see n combination n1 is what n by 2 this is small p is half this is what n by 2 this is q this is also half right so this is also n by 2 so directly you can write this is factorial n okay factorial n by 2 right n minus n by 2 will give you what n by 2 factorial this is what half and half so it will give you what 1 by 2 to the power n right so when you will see this the correct option is option a all right so this is very easy just you will have to see the parameters clear now we will move to the second question Here it is said a one-dimensional random walker takes ten steps in left and right with equal probability. Find out the probability that the random walker starting from origin is back to origin after taking ten steps. All right. So here the question is quite similar with the first one. We are dealing with the symmetric random walk only. So here it is said a one-dimensional random walker he is taking ten steps in left and right. Okay. That means capital N. it is said 10 steps in left and right that means if this is a line okay this is the origin that is its initial po position so if it is taking five steps on the left it will take five steps on the right this is what it means means because it is taking what 10 steps in left and right with equal probability since it is for equal probability that means what in total it is taking 10 steps but in the left it is taking five in the right also it is taking five clear that is the probability of taking a step right it is equal to the probability of taking a step on the left this is what the question says so here it is what small capital n is 10 right now n1 equals to n2 it will be what 10 by 2 so it is 5 okay because we are dealing with symmetry random walk now probability will be same for both the probability of taking a step in the right it will be equals to the probability of taking the step on left because it is equal probability okay so for this small p equals to small q it is also 1 by 2 so finally the formula is what n combination n1 that means n is 10 combination n1 5 right then p to the power 5 okay 1 by 2 to the power 5 this is also 1 by 2 to the power 5 okay so this will give you what factorial If I write here factorial five, this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can calculate and see on your own. This is factorial five. Okay, this is five, four, three, two, one, and this is giving you what? One by two to the power ten. So you can just see cancel, and the calculation you can do it on your own. When you will do this entire calculation, you can just see directly also. Okay, it is two. Four is a okay. Four and four will get cancelled. This is three. Three is a. This is five. Two is a okay. So from here you can directly see. So finally we'll get the answer to be sixty-three by two hundred fifty-six. You can cancel this two three is a and then two will cancel this side. So you will have what? In the numerator you will have something like nine into with seven, right? So it will give you sixty-three and two to the power eight. It will give you two fifty-six. Clear? So it is sixty-three by two fifty-six. Done. so it's very easy for four steps i will make a proper chart and then i will explain you but for 10 steps it will become very lengthy so i'm making it a bit compact clear now let us see the next question so what it is said in a one dimensional random walker takes a step with equal probability 
to the left or right what is the probability that the walker returns to starting point after four steps it's simple so here also what the probability to take steps on the left and right it is given equal now you will have to calculate the probability that the walker returns to starting position after four steps so this we will show, see through the chart so that it will become easy for you to understand what actually happens okay so this is the origin that is the starting point for the walker this is one this is two this is three this is four okay this is minus one minus two minus three minus four similar to a number line so if the walker starts from this position the starting position is at the origin so if he is taking one step this side then there is equal probable chances that he will take one step on the left also right so the probability will be what half right so to move to the right and left similarly from here if you take this is the first step okay now from here if he is taking one step to this side he will take one step to this side also okay at this at the second step he is reaching back to the origin so this will be what 1 by 4 this is also 1 by 4 right so from here also if he is moving one step to the left it will move one step to the right also so this is also 1 by 4 this is also 1 by 4 so if you see this sum will give you what 1 by 2 the probability total probability at the origin is 1 by 2 now from this point again this is the third step second is done we will go for the third step so if he is moving back this side one step then he will come one step this side also so 1 by 4 it is there so here it is what the probability is 1 by 8 to move to the right and to move to the left similarly for this you if you see to move to the left also it is 1 by 8 to move to the right also it is 1 by 8 okay and from this position if you see this is 1 by 2 so if he is moving left he will move right also the probability is half here so it will be what 1 by 4 here okay from because it is back to the origin clear so this probability if you calculate it will it is at this point it is 3 by 8 okay this is the third step now after fourth step it will reach back to the origin right that means what if you if it is moving left it will move right also if it is moving left it is moving right also right now you see at this is the probab at this point the probability is 3 by 8 that means to move right the probability is 3 by 16 then to move left also it is 3 by 16 here also it is 3 by 16 and 3 by 16 rest you don't need because you are asks the prob asks for the probability to the starting point to is the starting point that is the origin here so when you will add this you will get 6 by 16 right so this is what 3 by 8 all right so this is the probability this is how you can calculate now we will do the other way that is we will use the formula now okay for the formula here what you will write total number of steps first so total number of steps is what in this case 4 right so probability for 2 comma 2 you can write okay 2 on the left 2 on the right okay so this is what 4 combination 2 this is n combination n1 probability probability is 1 by 2 for both the sides right two this is also 1 by 2 2 because n1 and n2 will be what obviously n1 and n2 will be equals yes or no and it is what capital n by 2 n is your 4 so it is 2 so here you will get what this is factorial 2 3 into with 4 this is factorial 2 and this is 2 this is giving a 1 by 2 whole to the power 4 okay cancel this this is 2 2 is a finally you'll get 3 by 8 1 2 will get cancelled all right so this is the probability clear now next let us see the another question and this question is not for symmetry this time we are doing for the asymmetric one okay you are given here a random walker takes a step of unit length in positive direction with probability 2 by 3 and a step of unit length in negative direction with probability 1 by 3 okay now here it is said the net displacement of the random walker after n steps is how much okay so you are having a random walker he is taking steps of how much of unit length okay in positive direction the probability is 2 by 3 for the negative direction it is 1 by 3 you will have to find the net displacement okay so probability for the positive direction that is for the right side it is 2 by 3 okay for the left side it is what 1 by 3 okay total length total steps sorry it is given to you capital 
small n okay that means capital n is equals to small n here done now you will have to calculate the net displacement of random walker after n steps means after n steps what is the net, net displacement clear so if you see here if this is a line okay he is starting from this point so if he is moving okay probability is what for the positive direction is p for the negative direction it's q that means if he is taking what 10 steps to the right okay and if he is taking what six steps to the left first he has gone this side then he has taken six steps. so what it will be to the left he came to this position this is 10 again he is coming six steps here that means this is his net displacement now this is how you can calculate means what probability of taking steps to the right side minus with the probability of steps taken to the left side into with the number of steps this is what you will do to calculate the net displacement so directly you can write net displacement it is equals to what p minus q into with n p is 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3 and here it is what n so finally it will give you what 1 by 3 n clear so it's very simple these are basic questions you can just do if you're having a general idea if you just figure out this line and then you can just directly find okay now we will see for two dimensional random work so, so the first question is consider a random worker on a square lattice at each step the worker moves to a nearest neighbor side with equal probability for each of the four sides the worker starts the origin and takes three steps the probability that during this walk no side is visited more than once is what so square lattice you consider this this is a square lattice okay now the worker is what starts from the origin so this is the origin suppose okay now you see at each step the worker moves to a nearest side with equal probability means it can move to this side also this side also this also this side is also means for all the sides the probability to move is equal okay now you are asked to calculate that if the walker is starting from the origin and he is taking three steps you will have to calculate the probability that during this walk he cannot visit it visit one side twice okay and that probability you need to calculate okay the probability during this walk that no side is visited more than once and you will have to do the walker starts to the origin and you will have to do for three steps so you see for the first step he can move to this side this side all the four sides okay so he will be at this position so first we will write total number of ways because we know to find the probability we need to what total number of ways divided by what divided by uh, sorry favorable ways divided by total number of ways okay so for this total number of ways will be what four to the power three yes or no because we are finding for three steps now you see for the first step he reached here now you see for the second one he can move to these three sides but he cannot come back to this side because it is said no side is visited twice okay more than once so he cannot come back to this so he will move these three sides yes or no so favorable you see first is four in the first step he can move to all the four sides for the second he can move to the three sides now you see if the worker is moving this side okay so after that either it can move this side this side or this side but it cannot come to this side if he is moving to what this side right then what will happen then he can move on this side this side and this side but he cannot come back similarly for the other side also that means this time also here he is having how many three paths okay so these three steps is done so totally you will have what here it is 36 4 cube is what 64 so therefore probability is what favorable divided by what total so directly you can write this is 9 sir, this is 16 so it is 9 by 16 clear the only thing is about analyzing otherwise the questions are not tough now let us see the next question question number two so here is taking question number two consider a random walker on an infinite two-dimensional triangular lattice a part of which is shown in the figure below if the probability of moving to any of the nearest sides are equal what is the probability that the walker returns to the original starting position at the end of exactly three steps so a random walker is there he is moving a, in an infinite two dimensional triangular lattice a part is given in this figure you are asked to calculate what first it is said the probability of moving to any of the nearest sides so if it is the walker is at this position okay then the probability of moving to any of its side you can see this is looking like a hexagon 
so it can move to all the six sides okay and the probability is equal that to move to any of these sides okay you are asked to calculate the probability that the worker will return to its origin okay or the starting position at the end of exactly third step means after third step you it will return to the origin you will have to calculate that probability so first we will see for step one if is at this point so total here you are having total way path how much for him total size is six and favorable is six because it can move to any of the sides but for the second after the first step the worker will be at this position now you see in the second step this is the second step this is for the first in the second step it cannot move back to this side okay it cannot come to this side why because if you will come to this side he will reach the to the starting point in the second step and he cannot go to this side because he will have to return to the starting position so he can either move to this side or this side right so in this case for second step the probability is what total he is having 6 but favorable is 2 similarly for third step okay in the third step he will be at this two positions right if, if he has moved to this point this side okay then he will be here if he is moving to this side then he will be here he can start his third step from these two points okay so he will have to return to the origin so he cannot go to this side he cannot go to this side he will have to come to this side only right to return to the origin and that side also six sides he is having in total okay total side will be six because it is similar to a hexagon it is a hexagon okay so he is having favorable only one because he will have to return back to the original so this is one by six now total probability is what p1 into p2 into it p3 okay so it will be six by six into two by six into one by six now if you see if you cancel six and six this is two threes are so you will get one by 18 okay so the probability is what one by 18 the correct option is option c now we will see the last question of this video so this is also quite easy now you see a child makes a random walk on a square lattice of lattice constant small a taking a step in the north east south or west direction with probabilities this okay so after a large number of steps capital n the expected position of child with respect to starting point is at a distance what so directly it is very simple uh, child is there okay is walking on a square lattice lattice constant is given to you is taking step in north east south west all the directions the probabilities is given to you okay so you are asked that after a large number of steps capital n you are asked to calculate the expected position of the child with respect to the point starting point okay so suppose square lattice so here this is the origin that is the starting point this is north this is south this is east and this is west okay this i'm considering this is x so this is y axis this is x axis this is minus y this is minus x okay so the probabilities is given to you this is what 0 0.245 sorry 255 for east and north it is 255 0 0.255 for this side it is what 0 0.245 0 0.245 okay now you see if the child is starting from this position okay and if he is reaching he can take what is the sides are what a for all for the square because the lattice parameter is given to you a okay so for all the sides all the sides of the square lattice is what a then so single step length you can say okay here this single just a second so single step length is a here okay you are asked to calculate the expected value okay it is denoted by this okay expected value or you can say expected position of child with respect to starting point okay this is after large number of steps capital n so you see first we will do for what expected position for the single step for one step okay for one step we will calculate okay so it is summation i xi pi all right 
this is what it is so for the first one it can move to any of the four directions so we will just do the summation part right so first for the not direction what you what you will take x the side is a for also i'm writing a outside this for north it is what 0 0.255 right and for east i'm taking first 0 0.255 i k plus 0 0.255 j k this is i this is j yes or no this is j this is i this is minus j this is minus i and this side you will have what minus 0 0.245 I kept minus 0 0.245 J kept. Clear? Now when you will do so, you will get A into with what? 0 0.01. Okay. This is 0 0.01. I kept plus J kept. You can do the calculation on your own. This is what you are getting. Now you are asked to calculate after N steps. Okay. The expected position. So after N steps for the position, you will do what? After N steps. After N steps what you will write it will be what 0 0.01 right a then i cap plus j cap this entire into with n yes or no not only you will get the actual position so this is just simple you will get here this 0 0.01 can be written as what 10 to the power minus 2 okay this is n a i cap plus j cap so this will be the direct this will be this i k plus j k so directly you can calculate the magnitude you will get it to be what root 2 right yes or no and this will give you what the direction will be i k plus j k it will give you the direction north east i think this is very basic you all might know how you can calculate if you will calculate this i k plus j k it is you know i k plus j k a i k plus what b j k so to calculate the magnetic you are doing what Okay, A and B. In this case, it is 1. Na? So, you write what? 1 square plus 1 square. Because it is what? Root over A square plus B square. Right? And this is what? This is the direction, which is the north east direction. Okay, directly you can calculate from this. I don't think this is up. And you can write this to be equal as expected value. Okay, after N steps. Okay? And this is with respect to this starting point done so that's it so you can directly write this is root 2 into 10 to the minus 2 okay and a in northeast direction clear so that's all in this video thank you so much have a good day